Good morning, St. Luke's. It's the 25th. We're sheltering in place. We're sheltering in God. Low self-esteem is common, isn't it? You know, that whole idea of not being very happy with yourself. And it's a common problem. You know, people feel badly about themselves or they're not as good as someone else or they're not happy with their performance. And there's a lot of comparison going on. It doesn't seem to matter what age you are. You can be very young and have low self-esteem, or you can be quite old and have no self-esteem. Well, the scripture has a, a fair piece to say about this human dilemma. Of course, it wasn't called self-esteem. That's a relatively new term, 1890. But people have always had trouble with how they think about themselves. People have always had trouble comparing themselves to others. And the advice from St. Paul is, and there's quite a lot of advice. In fact, maybe I'll cover this for the next few days. The first thing that Paul says is, we see dimly, which is a poetic way of saying, you don't always see correctly. You don't have clarity about yourself nor anyone else so before you can move to another way of thinking and being that fact needs to be grappled with now that's not an easy thing to grapple with the fact that i might not be thinking about myself or another person in the right way but unless there's an openness to wrestle with this, it's not possible to move to the next step. I mean, there's no change. You can't. So that's worthwhile pondering. Am I open to having a different view about myself? Something to ponder. Peace be with you.